A wetland fading to fall from Holly Greenley of Millville got me to thinking about what's ready to leave on the southbound Summer Express. Zinnias, for one, Lloyd Arnold of Monroton won't have these to look at soon, nor will Joe Polanski of Scranton have sunflowers brightening up his backyard. Sean Mattern took a photo of a cactus orchid and asked friend Eric Ludovico to send it on in. What would we do without colorful butterflies to brighten the summer day? Holly Greenlee of Jackson Township saw one. Pamela Copeland of Kingston caught a monarch enjoying the butterfly bush in her backyard. Eileen Chorba of Beach Lake sent us two monarchs. They'll head out for the south very soon. Look at this, an unusual creature soon to say farewell. Amber Jones found it in her Wilkesbury backyard. And here, from Diane Marshman of New Milford, something soft and delicate and lovely to look at. It and the flowers it favors are going soon. Karen DeFrancesco of Mount Carmel with a bee taking advantage of some late blooming flowers in a Bloomsburg garden. We still have some time to enjoy a summer sunrise as Ronald Howell of Pine Grove did at Sweet Arrow Lake. And let us not forget sunset. Here's one from Amber Jones of Kingston. Sunset, of course, leads to nightfall. Some good to be had then. From Jane Robinson of Stevensville, a nice fire of family gathering at Lake Bonin in Orwell. Autumn, enjoy it while you can. Capture it, send it on in. See you next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.